sometimes it's good to sort of step back a little bit and add some context to some of these fast moving stories that will consume the news cycle for 24 hours or 48 hours. Or in the case of the send them back chant at a North Carolina Trump rally, it's really been almost like a two week or 10 or 12 day story in total. So remember last week at a rally in North Carolina, Donald Trump mentioned Congresswoman Ilhan Omar. The crowd starts chanting, send her back. Here's a quick reminder of what that was like. And she talked about the evil Israel. So this completely implodes on Trump. It creates really almost like five uninterrupted days of criticism of the White House, which was in full damage control mode almost immediately. Found out about this from the Washington Post article with 26 sources about Trump didn't even really seem to understand what it was that was problematic about what went down and what he said and how he reacted and what he tweeted. So eventually it got through to Trump that you probably want to distance yourself from the chant at least. So Trump took the position of I didn't like the chant. And in fact, as as is always the case with Trump, he goes too far. He could say in retrospect, I didn't like the chant, but he goes too far and says, I tried to stop it right away. I made super clear that I didn't like the chant in the moment, which, of course, if you look at the video is not clear whatsoever. Check out what he said again. This is just meaningless damage control. Donald Trump trying to say anything that at the time seems like it might help him. And he says all sorts of stuff that just isn't true, including that he started talking very quickly. So uh, MSNBC did a side by side with a counter showing exactly how long it was that Trump was silent as the chant continued. Take a look. Mr. President, if I may, when your supporters last night were chanting, chanting, send her back, why didn't you stop them? Why didn't you ask them to stop saying that? Well, number one, I, I think I did. I started speaking very quickly. It, it really was a loud, I disagree with it, by the way, but it was quite a chant. And uh, I felt a little bit badly about it. But I will say this, uh, I did, and I started speaking very quickly, but it started up rather, rather fast, as you probably noticed. OK, so he's telling us he didn't like the chant. The chant was bad, so he claims. But then Trump says, well, I didn't like the chant, but the people chanting are great people and are great patriots. Where did we hear this before? Here's, here's Donald Trump, not on the chant, but on the chanters. I'm unhappy with the fact that a congresswoman, in this case, a different congresswoman, can call our country and our people garbage. That's what I'm unhappy with. Those people in North Carolina, that stadium was packed. It was a record crowd, and I could have filled it 10 times, as you know. Those are incredible people. Those are incredible patriots. But I'm unhappy when a congresswoman goes and said, I'm going to be the president's nightmare. By the way, Trump said it was a record crowd. What does that even mean at this point? Obviously not true. A demonstrable lie, one that Trump often likes to tell. But there was nothing record breaking about the crowd whatsoever, no matter how you measure it. But the, the important thing here is Trump says almost back to back. He didn't like the chant. He tried to stop the chant. He resumed his speech quickly to interrupt the chant, all of which are not true. But then he also says the people in the crowd doing the chanting, those are great people. Those are patriots. How does this compute? The chant was disgusting and terrible. The people who came up with the chant, truly lovely, great patriots. These are the sorts of contradictions that come up when the president's word means nothing. I mean, truly nothing. Murder is absolutely disgusting. It's terrible. I don't know why anyone would ever commit such a horrible act. But that room full of murderers, those are great people. I mean, truly lovely, patriotic, great people. The murders themselves, though, I disagree with. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? And it almost is like a philosophical discussion, which couldn't possibly be what Donald Trump is trying to stimulate here because the guy has no clue about philosophy whatsoever. It's, it's more like a reverse double down. Send her back. Looks pleased in the moment. Let's it go on. Reaction to send her back is disastrous for Trump. He says, I didn't like the chant. I interrupted the chant quickly, which isn't true. But then it gets us to say, oh, OK, so you're upset with the people who were chanting, right? Because you didn't like the chant. Oh, no, the problem's not the people. The people were great. Uh, it was a record sized crowd full of patriots. 
But the chant is what I disagree with for all of the opposition to postmodernism that this new right claims to have. They sure to seem seem to see language and words as having completely malleable, fluid meaning that can be shaped like clay to mean or not mean whatever it is that's convenient to them at the time. Complete and utter contradiction. If you care about double standards, if you care about consistency, you're probably already not voting for Donald Trump.